Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of the VFR 400 build. Today's an exciting day. I am planning to get some bodywork on this bike. So I got this bike without any fairings, as you've seen. Literally the only piece of plastic I had was the front mud guard. Um, I had actually then purchased later on the original fuel tank from this bike in its original color. And um, I've been looking for fairings and so on. The plan is that this whole bike is going to be repainted anyway. So it doesn't really matter what color fairings I get. But I do want all the fairings to be OEM fairings. Um, so I've been looking for a few bits here and there. I actually have now picked up the rear fairings from the original, for the original, this original bike. So these are actually the ones that were taken off this bike when it had started to be broken down. So I managed to get those as a start. And I'll be continuing looking for other fairings. In the meantime, I've got a couple of other bits as well. I want to try and see if I can fit the gas tank on today. Um, I do need to remove the old, um, old uh, key lock because I don't have the key for that. I've got a new set, so I've got to drill that out. And the plan is to have a look inside and see what the status of the inside is. We might need to clean it out and so on. So I've got a couple of parts as well that I've arrived today. I want to go through those bits and I'll show you what I'm planning to do. Okay, so as far as parts are concerned, um, I had this fuel stopcock and filter assembly thingy bobby here. Um, and that's the filter here that I've got. Uh, the, the rubber seal here, or O-ring, whatever you call it, is a bit dry and old and crusty. So I've got a new one that's arrived. So I'm going to be replacing this. And then I can put the filter back on and then I can fit this to the bottom of the gas tank talking about gas tank here is the gas tank uh, i have the breather as well for this now um, this is the the older lock that i need to get out so i'm gonna have to try and drill this out and get it out somehow so i can fit the new one on um, obviously later on this will be painted and more importantly we got some fairings so these are the original fairings for this bike there's three pieces here so you've got this rear left hand side you've got this little back part here that sort of goes around the rear lights and also we've got the right hand side as well so they are in fairly good condition as far as cracks and there's no cracks and and, and all the tabs are there you can see we've got so obviously some paint shipping but as i said these are all going to be painted so it doesn't really matter to me but most importantly they are original i will clean this stuff up as well later on when it gets painted and replace all these areas here with some heat shielding um, or whatever it is you call it same thing on that side put some new heat shielding in um, uh, this tab here has been broken it looks like in the past and it has been repaired um, so we tidied that up at some point um, but otherwise all the parts seem to be quite solid and there are no cracks most importantly so we want to try and get these on today I'm just going to make sure that everything fits and stuff before we, you know, get everything painted and stuff. So, so yeah, so first job, I think, is going to be, let's see if we can get this old lock out. So here's a couple of the bits that we've received today. Uh, unfortunately, I made a little mistake with this. These are the, uh, I think they're called emulsion tubes. These are the tubes that the, the main jet screw into. If you saw one of the previous videos when I was cleaning the carbs up, that I broke one of the emulsion tubes. It snapped when I tried to unscrew it. Seemed a bit brittle. So I ordered a set to replace or pair. Um, but what I seem to have made a mistake of ordering the front one. These are for the front. If you look here, you can see there's four little holes in it. Uh, the front ones on the, the two front cylinders have four holes and the two rear ones have five holes. I think the rear cylinders run a bit they get a bit more fuel because apparently the front ones run hotter or something like that. So these are actually for the front. So I've got the wrong ones. Unfortunately, it was one of the back ones that I broke. So I've immediately ordered a pair of rear ones. So I've got a full set now. I will have a full set. So unfortunately, I can't finish off the carb today. Um, also, this is the O-ring for the this original Honda part number here. The O-ring for the uh, gas filter. Um, stop cock assembly uh, also I got a, a float ball kit as well well I actually and again made an accident I wanted to order one set of four and I actually ordered two sets of four 
So these are the uh, rubber seals that go on in the float bowl under the carb and also a new set of screws. I do need a new set of screws because those screws heads are a little bit eaten out and they're getting harder and harder to get off. So I actually have a spare set of these now, which is great because we have another bike to build after this bit bike, another NC30. Um, so we've got another set to rebuild the carbs on that. A um, couple of other little bits. I did get a fairing bolt kit in anticipation for all the fairings. So you can see we've got the front fairing bolts here with all the washers and different clips. We've got the mirror bolts, so we've got the nose cone bolts, we've got the rear fairing bolts, which we obviously use today. We've got chain guard bolts. It's a whole packet, all nice new shiny bolts. And, and also I've got these um, these rubber bits, these um, for, the, for the gas tank. They are the cushions when you screw it down onto the frame. So I'm waiting for the bolt, which I don't have. So the bolt's on its way. These are the rubbers, we can get that on so it doesn't scratch up the frame. All right, guys, so um, I drilled this out. This was it, really took literally <laughs> about 10 seconds. It's really soft in the core here. Literally, I just pulled a drill through and it just it just came unlocked straight away and it just popped off. So, this is the old one. Uh, this is the new one, which I actually prefer the color of shiny silver or chrome or whatever it is metal so basically um some of the screws go into these holes i think maybe i have no idea because when i got these these screws already taken off so i just got to find out i've got the screws there's three screws here with this oh i guess it goes this way one here one here and one here that makes sense so it goes in like this So one screw goes there, one screw goes and one goes there. And then once you turn the key, then you can drop this down inside. So these are the old screws that came with this. So you can see there's three really long ones three and four short ones. So the four short ones are these dummy screws and then the three long ones will be these three. So I should have some new ones that came with this. So I'm just gonna see if I can find those. Uh, hopefully I haven't lost them. At least I've got these ones if I did. These screws are longer than the ones that were in there and they seem like they are they are a bit too long for some reason so I'm gonna put these ones in I might have to cut a little bit of bit of the end of those screws off but for now I'm just gonna go with the original ones that were in there because they seem to be bottoming out um, before they go all the way in so that was much easier and I I'm not sure if it's gonna pierce through somewhere so I think I will need to cut these ones back a little bit this is not an it's not an OEM cap so you know how it is with these things you got to be careful sometimes they're not correct to spec so I think I will definitely cut a little bit of this probably about three or five mil off the end of it should be all right the same for this one okay something's not right this is why I hate non OEM let's loosen this up again Something's not right. Oh, for some reason my key wants to get stuck. Okay, don't laugh at me, I figured this out. <laughs> you don't actually turn the key 
to get the key out when you lock it down the key pops out so basically you you would uh, that would be turn it and it would, and, it, and that would be open and then when you pop it down I guess against the uh, the inside it will press this spring and it lock out and it spins the key and the key comes out so I was totally doing it wrong so let's try it now and see so that should be locked oops that should be locked it should be but it's not going all the way in the key comes out yeah just not sure how well this is sitting I'm gonna jiggle it around and see if I can get it to sit a bit better so when you put it in you turn it it should pop up and when you lock it down it should go down it should spring so it just seems to be a bit sitting a bit higher on this side um, so I'm gonna have a look into that that's a bit better now maybe it just needed to be done a couple of times all right, that's better, much, much better. So next up is the underside, sort this out. Is our new o-ring so I believe it goes around here All right guys, looks like we are good to go.
There you go, job done. It's got a new O-ring on the breather as well. Do need to get the holes for it. I thought I had it for some reason, but I seem to, can't seem to find it. So either I gotta find it somewhere or I gotta order a new one. That's it. All right, so our fuel tank is on. You can see, if you can see in there, connected up. Also that little vacuum line that connects to cylinder, I believe that cylinder number three is all connected as well. Um, so now we should be able to get fuel in here without using our uh, makeshift bottle. Uh, also, we've got, we can turn it off as well. So I believe one way is reserved, one is on and one is off. Uh, it actually says on here, so we've got off, reserve, on. So I'm not sure which way is off. I think that might be on the way that's up. And that's probably off and that's probably reserved. So let's turn it off for now. And um, we'll put some fuel in and just make sure that we've got no leaks. I've literally got a tiny bit left, so I'm actually gonna have to go and get some fuel. So I only have a little tiny bit in there. And that was it. but it might be enough to get it started. So I'll shake it about a bit. What I'll do is I'll come back to you in about five minutes and I'll just check to see if we've got any leaks underneath. In the meantime, let's start on these fairings. screws in here. I think there's three screws on here. Yeah, one, two, three. That should be enough to hold that together. Let's see what bits we've got in our, our kit. Thankfully, they've labeled this really well. The little mini labels and mini packets. So we have the rear fairing bolts. So we've got six of these big ones, which I'm pretty sure are the ones that go in here. I'm also test fitting the fairings to make sure that I've got all the clips and bits where they, where they screw in. So for instance, um, well there's a hole in the gas tank here, so I'm not sure if something's meant to go in it, but I shall find out. But I'm sure I'll be missing a fairing bolt, a fairing clip or two from the body. I have some, but I'm not sure where they go, so I'll probably find that out as well at the same time.
So every time we get a bit of pieces on this bike, it starts to look more and more like a bike. As you guys can see, it's looking good. Actually looks like a bike now. Just need to get some seats now and that finishes off the rear end. Oh, obviously the lights as well. Lights, lights are actually on, or, are on order, so they should be coming soon. Once we pop those in and screw that together, put the seat on, that is the back end done. So guys, not a lot more to finish this bike off actually. Got to get this new rear hose because this hose is, is an old hose that's a little bit too tight. So I actually need to replace this hose, which is running back to the expansion tank, our coolant here. And also I need to get the right hand rear set. That's our rear brakes. Need to get that so that we can get the rear brakes on. And that is pretty much all the bike needs as far as parts and to be rideable. Obviously we need to get the fairings. So um, that's what I'm on the hunt for now is um, to get some more fairings to go on here. Also, I've got a radiator grill that I wanna get for here as well, just to cover and protect the radiator um, from damage. Obviously, as you're riding the bike, debris and stuff like that. Um, there's a couple of radiator holes clips I need to get, so I need to get this one here, but I'm gonna get a whole set of radiator holes clips and then um, that'll be it. Guys, it looks like we're good under there. Can't see any leaks. Can't feel any leaks. It's completely dry and it should be on now. So we should have had some fuel coming down from that. There's not a lot of fuel in there. So it might need to be on reserve to work. I'm not sure. But I'll try and start it up and see if it doesn't work, then I'll have to go out and get some fuel. So that was a nice start. Obviously there's going to be some fuel inside the carb float, so that's probably why it started. But um, let it run for a little while and let's see. guys are going to end the video here hope you guys enjoyed this one so i've got the bike running as you see and it's looking good so hopefully in the next video i should have received the emulsion tube that i broke to replace in the carbs and also install the new jets get the bike running just how it should then that will be the last part of working on the bike as far as it is now and then it will be the strip down so we're going to take this bike right down to the sh to the frame and rebuild it all the way back up again so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give us a like please subscribe and we'll see you on the next video take care and thanks for watching